What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review this new album, this third studio album from TTNG. This town needs guns. Disappointment Island. Now, I want to say I've heard of these guys before. They've only been around since, well, they came together since 2004. Since then, the band has um, uh, lost four members. There are, three st there are still three members. Uh, Henry Tremaine, Tim Collis, and Chris Collis. Uh, they're from Oxford, United Kingdom, and uh, they're under, under the genre of alternative rock, indie rock, math rock, emo, and progressive rock. I've heard of all these except for math rock. I don't know what that is, but um, going into this, I didn't know what to expect. I expected it to sound good, though, actually, so I can't say I, can't, I don't know what, didn't know what to expect because going off this album cover, I expected something uh, not really weird, but different. And this is like the first time me getting into some, I guess, rock that sounds like this. Um, only other rock I've really heard is um, Def Leppard. Uh, who else? Other guys coming out of the 80s and some from the 60s and late. I mean, um, well, the 60s and, of course, the 70s. Yeah, really the 80s, though. Def Leppard, guys like that. Guns N' Roses. Uh, so this is the first time I mean, I'm reviewing a rock album. I told y'all on some videos, and uh, if you watch the channel, the updates that I, that I click every once in a while, that I uh, type in, I'm getting into this, so be prepared to see some more of this, but it's still mainly going to be a hip-hop review channel, but I'm also adding rock, <clears throat> metal, R&B, jazz, blues, uh, vaporwave, etc. And with the first track on here, Coconut Crap, I love the sweet melodic vocals and the guitar and the perfect drums of this. This is something to drive beat side to beach side to or just on the coastal part of an area and it's a song about being tired of uh well really a person's excuses uh why it's titled coconut crab i'm i'm not sure and this thing's only 10 tracks long 41 minutes so it's short sweet straight to the point and it's something i would listen to over again even though i wasn't really head over heels for this project check number two a chase of sorts this is a very busy song just to be honest with you and i love it uh, going off the first half of this album, I thought I was going to like just fall in love with this album. I'm not in love with this album, and I wouldn't say I love this album. I wouldn't even say I really, really like this album. I, I like this, this album. Check number three, Consoling Ghosts. This is a song about being visited by ghosts in your dreams and uh, misery being some, well, certain person's misery being a joy. Uh, this kind of makes me think that somebody did somebody wrong, maybe a breakup. And uh, the misery that that person's feeling now is that person's joy. It's kind of fucked up. But still. Um, and about what the ghosts tell you and say to you. Give you advice in your dreams. And you have to try to fight that off. Track number four. In Praise of Idleness. This is a song about asking. Well, this one the guy is asking what his contributions uh, to the band is. And um, the con Contribute contribution that he even makes, and what the band would be like if he even quit, and what the fans would think. So, I guess he's kind of saying praise of himself, but not really looking at himself as an idol. I'm not too sure about that. Track number five, arguably my favorite track on here. It's up there with Coconut Crab, one of the only two songs I downloaded off this project. Whatever, whenever. I never ever heard a guitar used like this before. Never. Uh, I mean, it's just something else. That's the main thing that sticks out about this track. It kind of starts off slow a little bit, but it picks up. Track number six, uh, Bliss Quest. This is probably the most experimental the vocals, at least, are going to get on this project. Uh, I didn't like the song at first. Uh, this one was actually kind of slow, too, but then picked up d towards the end. But I did not need, need this long-ass outro. And that's kind of with the rest of this project. Some of these outros are just... A little too long. Well, not even a little too long. Just a little long. Not too long, but still a little long. Track number seven. Uh, there is no I in time, which is a very interesting title. Uh, it's a song that sounds so familiar to the rest of the album. So it wasn't really boring, but I just found myself like listening to it. And not going like, ugh, but I wasn't going, I wasn't singing along with the song. That's how this album is starting to get at this point. Track number eight. Destroy the Tabernacle. Uh, this is a very instrumental song, actually. It's, there are vocals on here, but it's more the instrumental being showcased right here. And this song is just like uh, There Is No I um, in uh, Time. It 
kind of sounds like the rest of the project. So it's not necessarily boring, but it's not necessarily uh, overwhelming. It's not necessarily getting me like ah, singing along with the song or anything like that. Track number nine, um, Spankless Naj. This song gets very experimental near the end, just like this rest of the project. It sounded just like everything else. And Empty Palms. Now this is where it's kind of a change of pace for this slow part of the project. Um, it's a song about empty palms, untwining, and the brokenness that the person's feeling after a uh, couple that has now split up. And it's uh, very emotional, but not like... It's not staring away from the core sound of this project. And I like the sound of this project. It's very cool. It was very new to me. So... Overall, I have to say this project was solid. It was it was very good. Um, well, not very good. It was just a good project. But it was it was enjoyable, but not very enjoyable. That's why I have to give this project. Uh, sadly, because I going with the first half of this project, I was thinking I was gonna give this a very high grade and um, rating. I don't do the one through one hundred grade scale anymore. I just do the uh, one through ten and the uh, um, grade itself. So I have to give this project a a C, a C, a a nice C though. Not a, it's not like heading toward the C plus, but it's not in the C minus where it's just halfway. It's uh, no, it's a solid C. It's a six point five out of ten for me. If you've heard this project, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. What you think about my review on it? Also, be sure to hit, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and get at me on Twitter, Facebook, Audiomax, SoundCloud, Instagram. Hit up my email for business or anything. That's down at mcjab at gmail.com. And what I mean by hit up my uh, email for business or anything is what I mean if you need your music chopped and screwed, reviewed, you need beats made, or you want to be featured on uh, one of my upcoming DJ mixtapes, or if you have a request, hit up the business email. Or if it's easy for you to do it this way, just leave a comment or get at me on social media. Like I said, all those links are in the description below. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all next time.